Quindexter here, back in my Foreverlands testing world, and I have a mock-up of something that will be very familiar to many people who play in an SMP and want to get across large distances. It is a nether tunnel, and admittedly, yes, it's built in the overworld, but hey-ho, it still works. What you will see in this design, it's three wide ice, and we've got uh, some like runways, soul soil, so that horses can go over them as well and a little bit of decoration. And imagine behind me is one of the gateways to a place you want to go, whether that's a shopping district or back to um, your, your nether hub or whatever. Problem, a little bit of a bugbear of mine, is that people kind of use boats to move around, but then they just kind of leave them lying around. Like, here I come, I'm coming over here, oh, I've passed it, oh, I'm back again, oh, I'm getting bored of spinning around, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do almost where I need to go, and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hop out of the boat, leave it there, and then go in. Kind of just pile up all over the place, which means that your ice pathways become a hazard area. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of ways that you can mitigate that. So the first one and the easiest one is just put some slow down blocks. So if you're in your boat and you know roughly where you're going, you can slow down and it will grab you and then off you go and hopefully you pick up your boat. But generally speaking, people don't. This isn't a problem. If you're traveling quick, a single block won't slow you down. This video is about automatically breaking your boat without you having to do anything, placing it in a collection area, and making your life just tidier and easier. And mine too. Anybody that plays with me will know that I get annoyed with lots of boats just aimlessly spread around. So let's see how we do that. And this will be well known to a lot of people. First of all, we need to work out where we're going to be dispensing our boats and that will be under this block here this ice block here and our collection system will be under this one so we break out two and three with a line running you know wherever you want it wherever your entrance is or your exit is then we need some hoppers and this is not an expensive build but it is still a build that takes a few resources so here we're going to place a dispenser facing up. That's where your boats are going to come out when you need them. And we're going to place a hopper going into that. And then a hopper going into that one and a hopper going into that one. So boats that are broken will flow down into this, this dispenser and then we'll be able to activate that dispenser. On this side, we're going to need a hopper facing because this will be you know, working from both areas. If you're in this direction on the left, if you're in the other one on the right, and the 80% of the people who watch my videos probably know their left and right, or maybe with my videos that's 40, 50%. I trust you guys. Right, so now anything that falls into that hopper or this hopper will feed down into this dispenser. On top of the central hopper, we'll place a piece of sand. That's where cactus grows. We'll place a piece of cactus on top of that. And we can't because you can't have anything next to it, so we'll just remove that stair. And then we want a hopper coming down to that one and down into that one so that when your boat rides over here gets broken by the cactus it will feed into one of these hoppers and then come down into this dispenser put a piece of glass on top of your cactus to stop it growing and we're almost done but there is the occasion where you have spare boats what we can do is add a chest here that you can place spare boats in that will feed into that. So what we need to do, first of all, is put a hopper facing into that one. And then we can put a chest or a hopper on top of there. And then we can place our chest here. 
And the good thing about placing a chest here is that with your boat, sometimes boats will snag on oddly shaped blocks, but with staircases and a chest, that shouldn't happen. That also means that if you're running down your soul soil, that shouldn't be a problem either. One thing I will say is if you're digging this area area out to, to build this, you're coming in from this angle, you've done it in a slightly different order, you have to have solid blocks all around this dispenser because although it will fire through an ice block upwards, if there's a space around it, it will choose to put it there first. Also, if you haven't put your ice in here and you're testing it just to see if it works, it will shoot back into this hopper rather than come upwards. So you need to make sure that your ice blocks are back in. And because this is a, we want to know where we are going to be, let's just put some temporary blocks here. As I said before, a button will activate that dispenser and fire um, blocks through it. This is almost done. Let's put some boats in here. Push the button. And it worked. I'd like to say first time, but this is my <laughs> this is my third time recording to make sure I could do it in one take. Let's do a couple of boat tests. There goes my boat. Here comes my boat. Some of you may be wondering about why it doesn't dispense a full boat rather than just a boat to pick up. If you're in the overworld where you can actually have water and you can't have water in the nether because it goes sizzle right when you when you put a dispenser into water your boat is fully formed and you can just get in it and you know off you go i haven't found a way in the nether of doing that so you still have the manual step of having to pick up a boat and place the boat but this is still a lot easier than having to use your axe to chop, 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 chop. Oh, now I've got my boat and I'm going to go and place it into a side chest. And then I'm going to pick it up and then I'm going to place it again. From here, come out of your base. Let's just get rid of all these boats. These boats. Push your button. you got your boat. Off you go. And then when you're coming back down, oh, and this is this is just in my testing world. I've not seen this in SMP. This is a fake boat. That boat doesn't actually exist. But this is a bug rock thing. That boat isn't really there. If I log out, and log back in, boat has gone. So anyway, system works. You can replace these blocks with anything you like. Yeah, you make them fancy if you want to. I hope this cheap and simple boat stopping, dropping, claiming, reclaiming system thing works. Super cheap. You could do multiples of these and not have to spend many resources apart from a little bit of iron. Enjoy. Quindexter out.